Hello friends, I'm glad to be with you in prayer today. Today I'm going to offer a prayer from the Reverend Dana Wirtz from the Brick Hill United Methodist Church in Frederick, Maryland. She titled her prayer, A Prayer About These Times. Let's pray. Oh God, how long will this madness last? We are surrounded on all sides by our enemies, fear, despair, anger, and grief. Our plans are crushed or postponed until further notice. Our calendars are emptied of our must-dos. Our companions have become images and voices on screens. This invisible terror lurks on the hugs of love, the breath of friends, and the constant panic alerts from our devices. But then we remember that you are our shield and our strong tower. You are the lifter of our heads and the light that makes our way clear. We take small steps holding your outstretched, holding your outstretched germ-free hand. We cannot hold the hands of others yet. We cannot hold each other in prayerful love, walking together with courage the way before us. As our enemies fall one by one until life breathes easy again. Then like eagles, we will soar, not zoom. Then we will join the joyful parade of those who go to your holy house and lift the roof with hallelujahs and feast without cares at your table. Amen and amen. Friends, our reading for today comes from the book of Ephesians from the sixth chapter, verses 10 through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of his present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. And with all of these, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in the supplication for all the saints. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.